typically the the HVAC system only thinks about the air temperature too. That's kind of the oh sure. That's kind of the surprising thing. The 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 system that's in your building designed to keep people comfortable is typically only looking at Just one metric on air temp. Yeah, it has the thermostat yeah. in the room, and it's using that as its hmm. and maybe a humidity sensor um, to control the humidity, and it's using that as a proxy to gauge how much to condition the space. When in reality, it can be very different across. Uh, like an office floor plan, for example. Yeah. So let me, let me give you a, a, a fictitious yeah, example. Yeah, let's do it. So let's say here in our office, right, we have an open floor plan. Yep. If you're someone that sits in the middle of the office, you know, maybe near the, the copy room or something, you're, you're kind of far away from the windows, um, you're going to have one experience, right? Let, let's, let's, let's call that person Jenny. Jenny's sure. sitting near the copy room away from the windows. Um, she has one experience. Then let's, let's, let's come up with someone else named Wesley. Okay, okay. We great names. West yeah, wet, and he's sitting next to a west-facing window. Ah, Wesley there you go. is Wesley's facing west, <laughs> and um, and and so he's sitting next to the windows. And let's say it's the afternoon, right? And the entire office is conditioned to seventy-two degrees. Mm -hmm. Let's let's think about what happens over the course of the day. In the morning, they might be feeling the exact same temperature, mm -hmm. okay, seventy-two mm -hmm. degrees. Now in the afternoon, as the sun starts coming around to the to the west side of the building, sure. what's going to start to happen? Well, well Wesley's going to start getting a little warmer. Right. Well, and why is that? Right. Well, let's see. Let the the sun is going on that side. It's radiant heat, radiant temperature, right, yeah. coming through the glass. Or, yeah, the yeah. sun. Yeah, the sun's coming in. Yeah, it's coming in through yeah. the windows. Yeah. So first, that sun is hitting the glass. Okay. Um, and the glass starts to heat up, and sure. Wesley starts to feel a little bit of warmth from that from that glass. Not too bad. Maybe you know, unbuttons his jacket. Yeah. Still good. Then you know, later in the afternoon, the sun's coming a little bit deeper and, and pretty soon Wesley is com completely enveloped in the radiant energy of the sun. Um, but at that point, Wesley's not feeling so glorious anymore. I was going to say, he, he's <laughs> probably been in the sun all day, more or less. Yeah. And so at that point, Wesley has a completely different perception of comfort than, than Jenny does in, yeah. in the middle of the floor plan. Even though the air temperature still says the exact same thing, 72 mm -hmm. degrees, mm -hmm. Wesley feels hot, Jenny feels hmm. cold. And, and now you can imagine a few other variations of that. Maybe Jenny's sitting underneath the, the diffuser. Mm. And so that she has like cold air blowing directly on her. And maybe Wesley also worked out at the gym right before and has that going. So there's right. all these different variations where different people, based on their different metabolic rates, where they're sitting on the floor plan, will have completely different comfort perceptions. But according to the HVAC system, it's doing its job. Right, it's, it's, it's 72. 72 degrees. That's it. Yep. Yeah.